Lyft's Stay With An Area filter is my single favorite filter in my over nine years of rideshare driving. So let's discuss everything you need to know about it. With the Stay With An Area filter, you choose a radius and every request that you receive, both the pickup and drop off will be within that radius. The radius can be set as small as five miles and as much as 30 miles. And you can use the filter twice in one day for three hour periods each time. And you can move this purple circle to select your center point anywhere you want it to be as long as you are physically located inside of that circle. If you do move the circle outside of where you are currently located, it won't let you set that center point. And once you set the filter, that will be the center for that entire three hour period of using the stay within area filter. You can adjust the radius to be higher or lower at any time, but you cannot change the center point. And if you ever want to see how much time you have remaining during a particular three hour session, you can select your center point and it will show you a countdown timer. Also, if you leave the area that your stay within area filter is set at any time, Lyft does say that the filter will be automatically removed. And here's the message that you'll see when your first three hour session expires. You'll be automatically taken offline. It will tell you that you have one ride filter remaining and then ask you if you want to set that last filter. And this is the message that you'll see after your second three hour session has expired. Again, you're automatically taken offline and here you can choose to stay offline or go back online. And those two daily sessions go in tandem with the destination filter. So if you do use the destination filter once, you'll only have one remaining session to use the stay within area filter. Also, if you do decide to go offline at all during one of your three hour sessions, that three hour clock will still be running and when you go back online, the filter will still be on. So don't be afraid to take a break during one of those three hour sessions. If you go offline, you will not lose out on the remainder of that three hour session, but the countdown clock will keep ticking. So you can go offline, say you go offline for 15 minutes, that's gonna take away 15 minutes of that three hour session. But when you go back online, the stay with an area filter will still be on and the remaining duration of the three hour period will still be in play. Okay, when you wanna set the stay with an area filter, you'll select that bottom right driving options toggle, then you'll select location filters. The stay within area filter is automatically selected at the top there. You can also see the message that there are two filters remaining and those two filters include any one of these options. We'll select next. Here again is where you set the radius. You can set it as low as five miles or as many as 30 miles. We'll set it to five. And you can also set the center point by moving that purple shaded circle. If you do move the circle outside of where you currently are located, you cannot set the center point there. You have to be physically within that circle. All right, I think I have it where I want it. I'm gonna select continue. Here again, you'll see the message that the filter can be on for up to 180 minutes and you can change the size of your area at any time, but you cannot move the center pin. We'll set the filter and now it's set. And if you ever want to remove the filter, you just slide up that bottom bar, select that bottom right toggle, and select remove. Again, I love the stay within area filter. Um, the days that I drive with Lyft full days, I will use both three hour sessions for a total of six hours. I will use both of those sessions entirely. Um, the main reason is that it is a great tool for achieving ch ride challenge bonuses and streak bonuses more efficiently. And as far as maximizing efficiency with streak bonuses, be sure to check out our video on how I was able to double my streak bonuses by utilizing the stay within area filter. And also check out our other video on how I was able to maximize my bonus amount on an earnings guarantee utilizing the stay within area filter. Also, I have found that here in Minneapolis and St. Paul, if you camp out near a downtown area, those per ride bonuses are a lot more prevalent and lucrative. I personally am not a nighttime or weekend driver, but for those drivers that do drive during those periods, I feel like this would be a great filter to utilize during those times to keep you camped out near a downtown area where you're going to find most of the action and you're not going to be taken out into the suburbs somewhere. And one last major bonus with the stay within area filter is that it keeps your mileage low, maximizing your margins. You're not paying as much for gas and maintenance. But what do all of you think of the stay within area filter? Do you utilize it fully like I do? Um, leave a comment below and let us know. Also, if you do have any questions, make sure to comment with those as well. Uh, thanks again for watching and drive safe. Thanks.